Hey everybody, it's Jamie, AKA the bag lady. It is Friday, March, what is it? March 4th. Oh my God, I can't believe how quickly time is passing by. For those of you that don't know me, again, my name's Jamie, AKA the bag lady. I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark, ThreadUp, and The Real Real. By day, I'm a business banking loan renewal specialist. And today, what I have for you um, is a name brand handbag unboxing. And I've had this one sitting around for a minute. Um, and I haven't peeked at it. I did, um, before filming, I did undo the tape or, you know, so that you guys wouldn't see me almost stab myself with scissors multiple times. So anyway, with that, let's get on with this box. Um, it is from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. And... Let's see, I ordered it back on February 17th and it is a five piece. And here is your first look inside the box. We've got air pillows, which I, y'all know I like to save those. They're great to stuff bags with. Um, and, oh shit, I just tore the paper. I hate that, okay. Well, anyway. Oh, shit. And we're off. So, this is probably my accessory. It is a green Marc Jacobs wristlet. And it's dirty inside. And these, this particular fabric, for some reason, does not clean up well for me. But... I'm gonna try, cause somebody's gonna want this butt scratch and ugly wristlet. I just know it. All right, next up, <laughs> Rebecca Minkoff, you guys. I knew I heard chains. This is in white. It's actually not in too bad of shape from the outside and it's bigger. I have um, a small blue one in my closet. Um, there is a little bit of wear here. Um, let's see. I don't smell. Inside looks pretty good. So, yeah, I'm going to hit this with my leather cleaner. Give it a little bit of Wonder Balsam. It's white, so it's getting to be that time. Who knows? Maybe I'll catch and release this for my spring break trip. So, there's that. That's two. Ooh. Three is this Kate Spade. Oh, and it's got the crossbody strap. How stinking cute are you? She's got the bow. And, oh, well, I do see boo-boos here. That's a pretty big boo-boo. <clears throat> I don't know if I will be able to get that out. Um, but on the flip side... With the color that this bag is, oh, and I see it, it's up here too. I could um, get some, a little bit of leather paint after I clean this bag and, you know, cover that up pretty easily and, you know, of course, disclose it. But I mean, otherwise, this bag is awesome. Crossbody, bow, satchel style, straps are great interior is fantastic this stinking thing is so cute so very cute okay anyway that's number three let me let me get moving here and number four is this burgundy michael kors satchel that actually looks to be in fairly decent condition oh and until you open the inside, I swear to God, I don't know what you bitches are carrying in your purses. This is pretty filthy in here, but the Michael Kors interior cleans up pretty good. So, um, so I got my work cut out for me this weekend, you guys. I'm going to be cleaning and listing bags. So that's number four. Let's see what the last one is. And the last one is this Kate, ba Kate Spade tote with rucked handles. What a bummer. Um, it's a beautiful leather tote, 
but these handles are just, there's, I, I mean, there ain't, well, I mean, I suppose I could try gluing them down and edge coating. Way too much work for me. So um, if anybody's interested in this bag as it sits, um, I will just take the 20 bucks that I have into it and she's yours. So that's that. Five bags, wrecked Kate Spade tote. Uh, Michael Kors satchel, burgundy. Super cute, Kate Spade. Rebecca Minka. And Mark Jacobs. So, um, I think the prospects of me making my money back on this <laughs> on this box are slim. Um, sorry, I'm a little parched. And Frankie's down here dancing. If only you guys could see him. He wants up here so bad. Um, so, yeah, it, not one of the butter boxes. Say hi, Frankie. Um, yeah, definitely not one of my better name brand handbag boxes, but it's not horrible either. Um, that Kate Spade bag is cute. Unfortunately, Kate Spade doesn't, you know, fetch a whole lot because the market is saturated. Same with Rebecca Minkoff. But, um, you know, if I clean these bags up, I should be able to at least make my money and, you know, maybe a few shekels profit. Maybe, I, you know, as long as I break even, I'm good. I mean, you know, ideally I'd like to double my money, but hey, you know how it is with these boxes. You play to pay. Wait, no, you pay to play. <laughs> That's what it is. Um, anyway, so with that, you guys, I do have some um, weight loss updates. I am at almost 90 pounds now, and I went down another size in jeans. So the jeans, I'm going to put Frankie down. The jeans that I have on today are a size 10. And these are my beloved, you guys can't really see, but these are my beloved camo pants, camo jeans. They're not, they're not the camo pants. They're not my goal pants. Those ones are still a little bit small. Although I did measure them up against these and I'm not as far off as I thought. So anyway, um, let me sit back down here. So with that, you guys, um, again, I'm going to be shopping your closets. I have my Florida trip coming up and um, I'm all set on t-shirts. I got a couple pairs of capris. I need some shorts. And um, I know I just ordered a pair out of Chris's closet from Jersey. So if you guys have any um, nice jean Bermuda style shorts in your closet, hit me up, let me know in case I haven't put a like on them or I haven't seen them. Um, anyway, with that, I'm going to get going. I don't know. Oh, yes, I know what I have coming up. Um, I sucked at getting boxes again this week, you guys. Um, so I bought a 30 pound denim box. Anyway, I do have that coming. Um, I can't remember if I did the t-shirt box too or not, but anyway, I got 30 pounds of denim coming, so who knows? Maybe I'll get some shorts for my trip and that. With that, I'm going to go. Peace out.